Hola, maestras. Vamos a hablar del the fourth unit, Spanish one, week two. So this is what's coming up. Now, some of you are just coming back from a two and a half week Christmas, New Year's break. So welcome back. And I wanted to get this out to you to talk about how you can integrate if you're coming back onto the scene. We did seasonal clothing last week, and some of you guys did it before you went away for Christmas. And others of you did seasonal clothing last week, and now we're moving, moving into the weather. Now, I know that you've been speaking and practicing about the weather already with your students. So this is kind of, an, kind of a review, but really I don't want you to skip this week. It's very important as we review a lot of the clothing and connect it to the weather. So really, it's an integration of these two weeks. Great review for those of you who are coming back. And for those of you that were here this week, um, it's a great way to kind of extend and really solidify that vocabulary for the students. We're going to talk about cuando hace frío, que me pongo? Me pongo un suéter, me pongo un gorro, me pongo la bufanda. So we want them to really start kind of elongating that sentence and really using the vocabulary in lots of different varied ways. So let's take a look at the different activities throughout the week. First, I want to tell you there's three workbook pages. So I will definitely be highlighting those. The beginning, the opening, you want to reemphasize all your target words, ask those conversational questions, and we'll be talking about seco y mojado. So you want to be integrating that into your conversations. I really suggest that you bring something that's dry and something that's wet to really, it's something new every day. So you um, are just practicing those target words. Same old thing, kind of in calendar, talk about the time, um, start talking about, you know, what is your mom like? What is she, what is she called? What is her name? Where does your grandma live? So you recycle some of that old vocabulary that we've been talking about earlier in the year. We'll have a new dialogue. Tengo frío. Now, as I did last week, wrote it up on the board or with sentence strips. You want to do that. Change the characters. Don't always have it be the mom and the boy. Have it be la abuelita y su amigo. Change it all up. And don't make a child who's a boy pretend like he's a girl unless he wants to. We really want to make this a safe environment for kids to play and have fun, but not to make them feel more uncomfortable. So be sensitive to that. When you're talking about it, we in the dialogue, it's scripted, so it's tengo frío. But you can also say tengo calor. And what does that mean? Me quito un suéter. Me quito la bufanda cuando tengo calor. So you can do it being cold and putting things on, being hot, taking things off. Now, the first worksheet you're going to use on the first day in your vocabulary development. Here's the worksheet, page 32. We're going to be drawing pictures of the different climates. I say frío, what does that look like? Also, you can go back to this in the next couple of days and draw in clothing that you would wear when the weather is cold, windy, raining, paraguas, we can put those. Day two, going to go through opening, reviewing those, get your kids to move around, get rhythmic, syncopate some of the questions to over enunciate and pronou pronounce the um, vocabulary. Also on day two, we're going to be doing page 33, worksheet number 33, on page 33. Now this is really trying to emphasize the article that goes with the noun. Give them that masculine feminine agreement. Build awareness there. If, you're, if you haven't sat on this very much in your instruction, don't expect them to do it alone. Have somebody read the word and then together come up with which option it is and then have them write it down. We don't want a lot of errors there. So be moving around your room, checking to make sure they're writing the right article. Review it first, then do it together, then correct it. You want a lot of Individual people trying to answer the question, whole group class, repeating the whole thing together. 
So you would say something like, okay, vamos a escribir el artículo que va con osito. ¿Cómo termina osito? O con la O. Entonces, el artículo es el. El osito. Todos juntos, el osito. Do you want to go through that? 11 through 15 is a dictation. On day two, if you look under pronunciation, I give you some words that have an article and the noun that you can dictate. Okay, so this isn't something that you want to correct. See if your kids can generate some good um, sound to symbol recognition and then go back afterwards and go, okay, what do you have? You know, vamos a ver lo que escrib escribiste, and then correct it from there. That is day two. Then you go into some charades, so that's a fun day. You end with a game. Day three, we're going to do, it says a worksheet there. Don't get confused here. You can go back to page 32. There's not a separate worksheet from that. Or you can take a white piece of paper and draw the different climates and clothing that go with that, and they can take it home that day. I actually recommend that. It's good for the parents every once in a while to see some paperwork go home. That's my comment about day three. Now, day four, and every day, you want to be working on the dialogue. Go ahead and change it up. Make it fun. Bring in your clothing again. Maybe bring in a shawl for the abuelita or something fun for, like, La mujer, a little purse, something like that. Day four, you're going to do another worksheet. So that is on page 34. There it is. You're going over the weather again. Then you're putting a line from the, the picture or the icon to the words that say that. So if it says, hace calor, you connect that to the sun and then they would draw the clothing they would wear for that day. Now, there's some really fun, I'm gonna connect a YouTube clip that does a weather forecast, so if you have any way, an iPad, um, a connection to the internet that has a projector, go ahead and throw up a forecast, and I'll give you a link to a nice one, it's a Miami forecast, and um, you can see there, you can let the kids listen to it and pre preview it with them in the sense that they're not gonna understand everything she says, she speaks pretty rapidly, but um, try to have them listen for specific words that they're familiar with so that they can um, really press into trying to build understanding even though they're not gonna get the whole gist. All right, that is day four, Spanish one, unit four, week two. Have a great week, bye.